are literally entering the future here at Jitex. Future Blockchain Summit D3, guys. Look at what I have behind us. Oh my goodness, this is a flying car, just to put it in simple terms. Guys, I have Eva here. She is the funding strategist of DTA Aircraft Manufacturer. How are you doing today? I'm good, and you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you enjoying the vibes at Future Blockchain Summit 2024? It's our first time here and we're enjoying so much, like so many like investors and people and people coming from everywhere in the world. So it's like so much energy and we really love it, of course. Yes, yes, there are people flooding in guys, coming by, especially to this booth, because as you see here, this is one of a kind. Not everyone has a flying car at their booth. Eva, you have to tell me, I keep referring to it as a flying car. Is it a flying car? It is a flying car, actually. It's an electric flying car. We call them EVTOL. It's Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing. This is the official name all over the world. And uh, it's going to be everywhere pretty much soon, I guess. By in two years, something like that, it should be everywhere. That is super cool, guys. As I mentioned, we are entering the future right now. You see it right behind me. So tell us more about your brand, DTA Aircraft. What do we have to know about it? I'm sure everyone is probably wondering. So DTA Aircraft is a French-based company. We were we are existed since 35 years now. And two years ago, we started to develop this EVTOL that you have behind us, so the flying car, uh, to change the, like to be fully electric in the, and, and aeronautics in the future, of course, and change the future of mobility, you know, yes. and getting cleaner and all that stuff. And so here is a GP1. It's our first EVTOL. It's a two-seated EVTOL. We are already planning on doing a four-seated EVTOL. Uh, we are already taking pre-order, so we sold a couple one when we were in CES at Las Vegas. Probably you were there, guys. Wow. I don't know. And we are taking pre-orders, and we are also here for searching for investor to go a little bit faster and make sure to be ready for market in uh, 2026. So I can introduce you the machine a little bit more if yes, you want. Yeah, yes, the features. Absolutely. So it has like eight motors on every side, and it's very secure machine because if three motor fails, the machine will still fly. Let's do a little walk around. Show us yeah, where those motors are. Okay. These are uh, fiber, I don't remember the name in English, uh, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Yeah, carbon fiber. You have eight of them uh, around the machine. Uh, inside the machine on top, you have a little bubble, like black bubble. This is a parachute. So in case of emergency, the parachute will open and take the machine and the two people safely to the, floor, to the ground. Okay. Inside you have like two seats and the big feature here, like I mean, the big change in the in the technology is that everyone can drive this flying car. You don't have to be a pilot. You don't need a license. You can go. I will show you. I will do a little training, five minutes stop, and you can fly. Yes. Actually, this is yes. crazy, yes. and it's all computer based and very secure, which means like you have so many like algorithms, security, that makes it. Like Studi say, it's going to be the safest way to travel in the future, safer than riding your bike or just walking in the street. And so uh, basically you will take off and land automatically. You don't have to be to do anything. You just say, I want to go there and that's it. Wow. It is very secure because you have a stick. As you can see here, there is a stick inside the machine. Uh, you will be able to go a little bit faster and slower, right and left. But if you want to crash in a wall, crash on the floor or crash in a mountain, you cannot do that. The machine will say, no, you can push the stick. Nothing will happen. It will secure you. If the meteor is not good, there's a storm out there. You cannot take off. Okay. So it's the most safe, like the safest way to travel in the air right now. Yeah, yeah. Wow, guys, I feel so behind on this. There's people that have already pre-ordered this flying car of the future. I feel so behind, guys. I feel like I need to get me one of these. You can get one now. We can do a pre-order for you. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And what's the typical price range, would you say, for something like this on a, on a US dollar price point? We know it's 250,000 USD, which is kind of like a Ferrari price or a very yeah. expensive car, but yeah. it's flying. So, I mean, and it's electric. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's definitely fair enough, I guess, in terms of a price point. For a quarter million dollars, guys, you can get your hands pre-ordered on one of these. And I'm sure when they're released, the price is going to go up. Yeah, I mean, we d it depends on the quantity, of course, but uh, we are making sure that the first 100 pieces are at the same price for everyone. Okay, and then okay. we'll see. So very exclusive, guys. If you're one of the first 100 people, you can get it for a quarter mil. Okay, I think I might want to be one of those people. It's better than buying a Lambo or a Ferrari, yeah. right? This is the future. And as she mentioned, there are so many safety features. You're not going to be able to crash land into a mountain. It's not going to take off if there's a storm. All you got to do is press a couple buttons, say you want to go from A to B, and it's going to take you there. You don't need any sort of special flying license, correct? Yeah, that's it. It's wow. exactly that. It's for wow. everyone. Everyone will be able to fly. 
And what's the altitude you think that this puppy is going to fly at? So, okay, this one is an ultralight aircraft, okay, because you have two categories in aeronautics, the ultralight and the heavy one. Okay. Ultralight has less regulation, so it's easier to fly, but each country has its own regulation. Yeah. In France and Dubai, for instance, I'm sorry, I'm going to talk in meters, guys, yeah. so maybe you yeah, do yeah, that. It's, it's from zero to 150 meters, okay? okay? So it's kind of low, okay. uh, but the force it will be heavier and we'll be able to go a little bit higher, okay. of course. But I mean, 150 meters is still pretty tall. Yeah, it's, it's more, more than enough to do whatever yeah, yeah. you want to do. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. it. You just got to dodge all the skyscrapers in Dubai. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think that just so you know, like guys, we are like for Evitol, they are building something new called Vertiport because it's vertical takeoff and landing. So you're you going to be able to take off from Vertiport and then into Venti Vertiport. They call it like this. It's a new world. Like, okay. Yeah. Very, very cool. I definitely want to sit in this and try it out. Yes, yes, I think that's going to be very cool. So thank you so much, Emma, for your time. Yeah, I really do so appreciate nice. it. This, coming. again, is an exclusive at Jitex Future Blockchain Summit here in Dubai, guys, at the Dubai Harbor. There is no other booth here with a flying car. In my opinion, I think it should be in the middle of the conference. It should be for everyone to see. But again, shout out DTA. Thank you so much for having yeah, me, guys. I really do appreciate it. Cheers.